Hello everyone, Cheryl Ann here with a video of my uh, handmade journal that I made for 2020. Now that I've I've picked out my one for 2024. So this was a cookbook that I found at the library from Spain and I, I really like the back of it. So I just left the back and I did put... Um, I did put strips of fabric. I glued them down here on the back and in the front. And, you know, it held up really well. This is uh, nine and a half by seven. I really like this size. In fact, my new one is the same size. And it also has the, the same kind of, uh, the kind of shiny cover. So um, I did, I'll show you, I'll show you the, uh, cover so far I have so far I have six signatures and hopefully my uh yeah January 2020 hopefully myself <laughs> be better behaved today so those I had a list of things I write about I guess I should put that in the new one too mainly <laughs> mainly it's about birds and garden and grandkids and weather Talking about the flu. Oh, here's a postcard our son sent us. When he, when he graduated from college, it took both our kids five years to get through college. Um, his, uh, his auntie paid for his airplane ticket to visit her in Provence, France. Yes, Provence. Oh, this is a book that I had. In my classroom from 1992, and I just I just found it on um, mm, thrift books and Amazon. I ordered two more copies because I really I really like that. That's the granddaughter. So anyway, she paid for his their their his trip, not his. No, he took his best friend since kindergarten with him. <laughs> These are the grandkids. And the two of them went to Provence, and then they went over to Florence, and then they went over to Amsterdam, and they ended up in Germany, because our son is fluent in German. He took it in high school, and he's pretty good. He's pretty good with uh, languages. He picks them up very easily. He knows a little bit of Korean. He knows a little bit of Russian. He knows a little bit of Farsi. Now he's picking up Spanish. <laughs> he's multilingual. And he's really good with it. Very oral. <laughs> very. He was always very verbal. So this is what this is. This journal actually lasted me a couple of years. <laughs> Brady's four years old. <gasps> You know, we have six grandkids now. <laughs> I have to I have to write down their birthdays because I can't remember them all. They're spread out all over the year. So I try to try to remember. And I'm complaining only it's only 106 today. And that's in September. It was a brutal summer <laughs> in 2020. Yeah, here, 143 straight days of temps over 100 plus. New record. <laughs> the old record was 1958. It was 135 days, and here it's 143. And finally, on October 8th, oh my gosh, it was 99 degrees. Oh, isn't that awful? That's the summer. I just, I just stayed inside and hibernated. I didn't even want to go outside. Oh, here's where we went to, up to Idlewild. Yeah. I heard an owl, saw blue jays. This one was three signatures. That's just the first signature. There's a little pocket there. I don't usually make little pockets like that, but I did. First snow of the season at the tram was November 8th. They always have a postcard contest. See who can guess when the um, 
first measurable snowfall will be, and you get free tickets for the tram if you're one of the, the winners. Here's another. That's Tommy DePaula. I just ordered another one of his books. I, this one I just used uh, digitals that I had left over in one of my drawers. I just throw them all in a drawer. This is one of the granddaughter's wish list for Christmas. So you can see, it's just, I talk about movies and books and mostly the weather and the birds. And the, oh, look at that. That's so that's so pretty. I have a couple of his books now that I've ordered. I usually try to buy things at the public library because the books here are like twenty five cents each. Children's books are ten cents, but you know they it depends on what they have. If they don't, you know, if they don't have <laughs> anything that interests me, oh, that's our cat Loki. He lived to be nineteen years old. He had the, he had sky blue eyes. Oh, he was just gorgeous, but he was mean as all get out. Oh, he was just a nasty cat. That's the grandson that's here. That's here, not too far from us. <clears throat> There's another owl. We do have owls here in the desert. We have this dead cottonwood in the backyard and they they like fallen fallen spring they like to get up there and hoot there's my donation to animal services they like to get up there and hoot at night and they we have a huge mesquite in the front yard and that's the second signature and this is the third one i've gone out there Popped my knee, and I had to go in for physical therapy. They are out there. They're hooting, and they fly overhead. Oh, our son did his ancestry DNA. This was the result. It is from mostly Scandinavian and Western European. No surprise there. You know, blue eyes and blonde hair. Could have saved him the money and told him that, but he didn't want to listen. So he had his done, and no surprise there. This is from that book that I just ordered two more. I think it's called Nature's... Nature's Nursery Rhymes? I'm going to have to look it up now. I couldn't remember the name of the book. All of a sudden it came to me, so I quickly went on Amazon and thrift books. I, I like thrift books because they have free shipping. And there's stuff. Oh, here's a couple here's a couple letters and cards from my my YouTube and Facebook pals. Their shipping is pretty good. It's another one. <laughs> That's cute. So this this was a real junk journal. I just used pages from whatever I had. <sighs> whatever digitals I had. Whatever I had. Oh, it's going to be here. This is 2022. Going to be 100 by Tuesday. And it's April. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, hubby and I are I think we have long COVID we actually had COVID before anybody diagnosed what it was we've just had nothing but issues ever since oh see I didn't I didn't even finish the book there's a few blank pages but you get the idea yeah, and this is the new one. See, it's that same, it's that same kind of, it's that same kind of uh, shiny book cover. And then this is, this is what I do. I have 
six signatures here. And what I do is uh, I'm getting ready to punch the holes for the signatures in the cover. And then um, I'll do the signatures. And then this one, this one will be done. I'll do a flip through of it when I get it done. <coughs> Pardon me. A little tickle there. But I love this fabric. I think I got that on. I think I got it on Etsy on Spoonflower. Yeah, they have really nice stuff. So I, I want to get this done. And then I'm going to do uh, two farmer's market kind of vegetable ones using this fabric. Because I like it so much. It's really cute. It has sunflowers and oranges and vegetables and it's just really nice. And then on the inside is this kind of watercolor uh, floral one. And then it has the, the Italian uh, recipes here on the front and back covers and I left them in there. Because I thought they were so cute. So, anyway, I see there? They're the same size. This one I made, I had to make the spine. Because when I, the pages were glued in. And when I cut them out, no. It just, it, it they weren't, they weren't coming out. So, I ended up just having to, ma I made, remade the spine. <laughs> And I made it, I made it bigger because six sin signatures, you know, that's, that's going to get pretty chunky. I mean, they fit there. They all fit in there nice now. But, you know, when you add photos and cards and other stuff, you know, it fills up quickly. So anyway, that's what I'm working on. I'm working on this and then I'm going to make two more. From my Etsy store. So if you would like one, let me know here and I can reserve it for you on Etsy. Okay, until next time. Bye for now.